to Winner Home on Afternoon Express, the show where we follow three young designers as they transform three empty apartments at Val de Vie Estate into dream homes using finishes provided by Plascon and Caesar Stone. And at the end of it all, we'll be giving away one of the completed apartments worth over three million rand to one lucky viewer. So for the next two weeks, it's all about the bathroom. And today we're joined by one of our Winner Home judges for some color inspiration. Danilo's on the couch. Decorating a bathroom can easily go terribly wrong and choosing the wrong color to paint the walls can ruin the common effect of the whole room. Here to help guide us away from disaster is the lovely Anne Rosal, Plascon's global color manager. It's good to have you. Thank you. So let's talk a bit about this bathroom experience because I mean bathrooms are quite a difficult one to get put together. What are some of the no-nos and things that people are generally doing quite wrong when it comes to decorating bathrooms? Okay well if you think about it you start and you end each day in the bathroom. So when you walk into the bathroom in the morning you want it to be uplifting because mm -hmm. it will sort of set your mood for the whole day yeah. and at the end of the day you want something that's quite relaxing and calming so you can you know wind down yeah so beware of very bright bold colors i mean you don't want to wake up in the morning and you know go to through the bathroom and you hit by this bright passionate yeah. red <laughs> you know it you do want a bit of energy if you want energy add some red accessories or whatever yeah. but beware of painting the walls all red in a bathroom or all yellow it's just too bright and yes. bold and it can go, that's sometimes it when it goes horribly yeah, wrong. Yeah, also when you're trying to focus, it's like distracting to have all the entire room being so many different yeah. colors, you don't even know where to, where to be. Yeah. Um, what are some of the things that we can do in terms of choosing the right type of paint? Uh, what kind of color should we go for? Okay, well you want to create like maybe a spa-like bathroom or relaxing or colors that really reflect well on your skin. And ah. that's also something to bear in mind. So yeah, you look don't, in the mirror in the bathroom, careful. so yeah. Yeah, exactly. So you look in the mirror and you look kind of greenish, yeah. but you've got a green wall, so, or yellowy, and you think, gosh, I'm Ill. Ill. <laughs> so you want colors that have sort of a peachy undertone or pinky undertone that look yes. good on your skin. Okay. In fact, in our latest issue of Plascon Spaces magazine that we have out now, we show you one bathroom and how you can totally transform it just by changing the colors of the walls. Oh, really? So in our first one, we show you just a plain old neutral bathroom, which is great. It's yeah. fine. You know, neutrals never go out of fashion. It gives you that minimal look mm. and very calming and relaxing. And then our second look is when it really gets interesting mm -hmm. when you add color. So there we have a grown-up pink called Savannah. And pink is a very trendy color at the moment. Yes. As I said, it's Pantone's color of the year is rose quartz. So it's linked to that. So it's very trendy, but it does look beautiful mm. on the skin. Our third bathroom is also a Pantone color of the year. It's a, it's a sky blue. They call it Serenity. We call it Marmelo. And you get a wonderful, cool, refreshing look when you paint the walls blue. And it's like sky and water. It just fits yeah. with the bathroom. Especially if you maybe have like more than one bathroom in the house. It might be a nice one to have as a guest bathroom because if it is exactly. towards the beachy side of the, of the world or if you've got a coastline a house, that's a beautiful exactly. uh, color to paint it, it the room. Does. Yeah. It does. It just fits the whole theme yes. of the space and mm. you know, you really feel that water connection, mm -hmm. which is really good for you you know, your yeah, soul really. Exactly. And then our, our fourth bathroom that we showcase is one that's going a little bit different and we've, we've used a military green called Starlight Express. And it's really quite different, but when you add plants and stuff, it's almost like an oasis. Yes. So, you, you know, it's very relaxing, calming. Green is very stress relieving. So it's a great color also for a bathroom. And then it's up to you to choose mm. which color you would like to have in your sure, bathroom. Sure, nice ideas. I think people are also stressing because bathrooms are one of those spaces where a lot of damage is potentially coming in there with yeah water damage and coming down. Dampness is also a big one that, that happens. Yes. What kind of paints can we use to protect our walls? What are the hardy, hardy paints that we Good can paint. use? Okay. Mm. Well, enamels have been traditionally been used in bathrooms because they're hard wearing, they are heat and steam resistant, they're chip resistant, they're anti-mold, but we've all got to be eco-friendly. It used to be enamels, you'd have to wash your brushes with terps and terps and all oh of those no, things are yeah. not great. Mm. Now it's fantastic. We have a water-based enamel called Valve Glow. It's much more eco-friendly everything is water and it is just as hard wearing it's mold resistant it's heat and steam resistant it doesn't yellow you know the old enamels yes. you paint it white and it would go yellow after a while yeah. these mm. stay white so it's great when new products are eco-friendly but they also as good as yeah, the uh, older products so definitely go for a water-based enamel in the bathroom I like to take a lot of inspiration from the hotels because they really like to decorate their bathrooms and make them interesting and unique and a lot of them are using uh, things like wallpapers and really getting wild with those sort of yeah. bathrooms. What's some, what are some of the techniques we can use to, to just really uplift our bathroom? Well, wallpapers are beautiful.
painful. But I must admit, I'm one of those people who just cannot take <laughs> wallpaper in a <laughs> But a lot of wallpapers actually are paint finishes. If you have a look at them, oh. they like painted strokes and yes. all of that, and they do it in wallpaper. Well, do it with paint. Okay. There's an amazing amount of techniques you can do with paint. Mm. So rather use paint, you know, you can do easy stripes, or you could do a stencil in your bathroom with mm. a metallic, or you can do something really exciting and do a mural in your bathroom. So that really there are endless possibilities of what you can do with paint effects mm. in the bathroom. And what I love most about having you in the loft is that you make people so excited about just experimenting with the houses. So I'm pretty sure everyone this coming weekend is definitely going to be playing around a little bit, either in the bathroom or in any other room of their house, just to use colour and different types of paint. So thank you for joining us. It makes such a difference. It thank does. you. Remember, you stand a chance to win a golden ticket into the Winner Home final draw when you buy a Plascon product and SMS the word Plascon, the last six digits of your barcode, and your full name to 32979. Visit plascon.co.za for more details on how it all works, as well as much more inspiration, colourful costs and how to go about choosing the perfect colours for your bathroom. Well, some really valuable advice there. We saw on Monday that our design contestants didn't score particularly high for their use of colour. Will that all change for their bathrooms? Let's see what they're up to. Minentlen Tuli's bathroom is coming along nicely and he's choosing a soft neutral shade to complement the dark tones in his design. I'm picking my paints for my bathrooms. I'm definitely going for an off-white. I'm still stuck in between choosing whether I'm going for the worn wood or the silver bird. I'm going for the off-white because it's going to help make my room bigger than it seems. I'm also bringing in the garden city that I have in my guest bedroom, which is part of the concepts I have to keep the consistency without, throughout the apartment. Also busy at the paint stage is fellow contestant Joanne Fenta, who is continuing her spa-like theme into the serene bathroom. So I'm using a white uh, Plascon Valve Glow because my floor is going to be very dark and I'm going to have hints of light oak and concrete, so I think white will work perfect with the space. I'm using Valve Glow from Plascon because this is a wet area and my bathroom is looking great already. The contestants know the importance of choosing the right product to protect their bathroom surfaces and Rudolf Jordan has made a bold colour choice. So almost done with the first coat here. I think it works well with the tiles I've selected. And um, remember that with my white sanitary fittings, my 50% neutral, 50% black stain on the floors, everything will pop against this colour and I think Plascon will like that. This is not the only colour I'm going to use in this bathroom, so you'll have to wait and see what the surprise element is. Well, from today, you can head over to privateproperty.co.za and vote for your favourite bathroom. And by casting your vote, you stand a chance of winning paint from Plascon to the value of 5,000 Rand. You will also automatically be placed into the grand prize draw where you could win one of those completed apartments at Val de Vie worth more than 3 million Rand. Winner Home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with Nedbank. We'll be right back.